Hi. So in this particular workflow session, we'll discuss about how do we display HTML content in the notification. And this is not a static content, it's a dynamic content which we are retrieving, retrieving from a PL SQL. And also we'll see how do we attach and this particular HTML content as an output as an attachment to the workflow. Okay. So before discussing about the technical implementation of that, let us see the working example and then we'll see component by component like what logic we wrote. So I'll just execute this particular one. Go to the ERP screen, refresh, and we could see the notification XXLT3WF is our item type, and this is our message. Click on this particular hyperlink, and we could see the HTML content which is getting displayed in the notification, and also we could see there's one more attachment which is display which is having the, the same content. Okay, so there are two functionalities. Let us see what is the logic we wrote behind this one. It's a very simple process. So first I'll start with the process. Open the process. In this process, if you observe, I have the start and the function which is invoking our PL SQL program notification and the end. And just see the attributes here. I have one particular attribute called XX performer. This performer is nothing but to the user to whom you want to send the notification. Another one is XX EMP underscore table. And the data type of this particular attribute is document type. So this particular document type is a major important one which we are using for the purpose of displaying the HTML content. And here document type attribute I just assigned under this particular message. Just observe this properties. Can you see it? The type is document and also I just clicked on this particular attached content. So whatever the value of which you have in this XXEMP table document that will be set as an attachment to the notification. That's the difference. If you don't set this attached content, what will happen is you will not see the hyperlink in the notification. What you could see is only the data which is which will get displayed in the notification. So now here, click on this message and this particular attribute we mentioned in the HTML part, HTML body part, we mentioned this one. I'm person XXEMP underscore table. So the major functionality is how are we setting the value for this particular HTML attribute, right? So what are we doing is before calling the notification, we are calling our custom API, this one, XXLTW set HTML utils, set notif set notif attributes. So let's go to that method, set notif attributes. So this is a package. So I just have only one particular method. So in the set notif attributes, what are we doing is, let me show you. So in the set notif attributes, we are calling a method called WF engine set item attribute text. In that one, so if you observe the syntax here, set item attribute text, so HTML we are, so HTML, what are we doing is it's a, it's kind of a plain text, right? HTML is not a binary content. It's kind of a plain text. That's the reason we are using set item attribute text. And in that one, we mentioned item type, item key, as well as our attribute name. Then we are calling a method which will get us the HTML content. This is our custom method. If you observe PL SQL, we have to mention PL SQL colon followed by our method name, XXWF set HTML utils EMP underscore table. So this is a method which is getting all the information, like which is getting the HTML content. So we wrote the logic behind, we wrote the HTML logic behind that. So we are getting all the data from the EMP table and then we are setting that as HTML content. Okay. 